hello everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. This is part two of my Red Dead Redemption series. This is Phantom speaking. Hit the intro. Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. As I said, I am Phantom. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content on the channel here. And without further ado, let's get to the video. Alright, so, the plan of today's video is to kill everyone. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, hold on. That can't be true, right? <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Let's get down to business now. Let's get past all the jokes, and let's get to what we're here for. Which, again, you're going to see the top left is to talk to Bonnie. So, let's get on over there to her. Uh, we didn't need to bring the horse, but I will anyway. Um, I'm just gonna mention real quick, uh, I, I'm aware that there were echo issues in the last recording. I am deeply sorry about that. I believe I have fixed it, um, but if I have not, then, uh, well, uh, you know, that's, that's my bad, I guess. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and Let's speak to Bonnie here. Uh, I should mention also that I'm going to give this horse a name because why not? You know, uh, this is Lucas right here. So everybody meet Lucas, Lucas meet them. All right. Now, now let's do the mission. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Alrighty, so as you can see, Bonnie has challenged us to a race, so we're going to right, accept to that challenge. Guys. Now let's go. So Lucas, I'm going to have to ask you to be on your best behavior here. Don't do anything yeah. stupid. Alright, let's go. Let's get to the race start Ooh. here. Let's do it. On the count of three. Three, two, one. And we're I'm off. All right. Just right. shut up and let's no, no, go, no, Bonnie. You just stay back there. I'm going to go ahead and just take over the video here. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and take over, get this race done. Uh, so, everybody, um, yeah, so how's your day going uh, if you've made it this far? Um, you know, uh, it's getting pretty late over here in Arkansas, I but, uh, you know, we're, I'm just, I'm just doing just fine here. Uh, I usually stay up late to record these videos, believe it or not. Um, but, uh, you know, hey, as long as I get to record content, I'm happy. Now, while these two talk, uh, over me, mind you. <laughs> um, very disrespectful, uh, Mr. Marston, but anyway, we're just, we're just gonna look past that. Oh, yes, I do. You just stay back there. Uh... So, I'm going to be honest, uh, my uh, volume sometimes is very low, and I have to re-record these every now and then. Uh, this is like my third time re-recording this, uh, but 
I think it's gonna be okay. I mean, I'm trying to speak louder too. I mean, my, my mic volume is really low, uh, just because of the echo. Um, and it's also just, I speak really quietly. That's a big issue. Oh no, I just screwed myself there. Um, <laughs> freaking Lucas jumping over fences. You ain't nothing special. Oh my God, Lucas. Luke, if you don't get up there. Okay. So, now that we're back in first place, um, stay back there. Oh my god, that is not the first time that has ever happened. Um, I don't know why that happened. It's happened to me so much back then on the PlayStation 3. Uh, like, the horse just has a mind of its own. And I think I just got myself screwed there because of, uh, because of dumb old Lucas. Dumb old, dumb boy right here. I'm not getting beaten by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, but I've had to re-record this every few times, but um, I think this time it's going to turn out okay, and I'm very happy about that. It's miserable for recording this. Uh, that sun is... Jesus, that's bright. Holy crap. Wow. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right, and there we go. That is going to be obstacles in our path finished up. We are going to continue on with the next mission here. Uh, so. Yeah, let's let's just get straight to it. No dilly dallying. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. So, uh, also, I must say. Uh, if the if, if if any dogs are heard in the background, I apologize about that. They're rowdy about something at the moment, so you know, we'll just we we'll just hope better. it might doesn't catch them for picking up. Hey, dogs are over there. That, so do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's really. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to signify that gibberish with a response. Taking it up from good old Dutch, I believe. Uh, I think Dutch said that line. Uh, but it's I good think to it's see John funny. I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that Mrs. Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. <laughs> Oh, that poor guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. That's the highlight of the video right there. <laughs> wow. That was something. <laughs> oh, goodness. Funny well, enough, the same thing happened in my last recording of this. <laughs> so this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us.
most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let's let's get to the doctor here. Oh goodness, that was oh, that was too funny. Hello there. Oh, yeah, give me some medicine, partner. Man, he has a mustache right there. He he's dressed up looking nice. Wow. All right. What's up, Bonnie? Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Alrighty. And there's that mission done. Herbert Moon! Oh my goodness, it's Herbert Moon. <laughs> oh, Herbert Moon. Oh my god. Oh, what a guy he is, huh? Alright, well, there goes that mission. Now... Let's go ahead and let's see what the marshal is up to. Uh, I believe I'll do this mission and then we'll wrap it up here. I can see poker should be able to there too. Would not be against playing that sometime in the future. Uh, but yeah, let's just see the marshal here. And hey, that's that's the same guy from the Stranger and Freaks mission I know. <laughs> Come on, you pal. Yeah, that guy. He's he's a creepy guy. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and see what the marshal wants, and let's get off it. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <sighs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. He smokes a lot. <laughs> That's so much smoke. You must be the man from Blackwater. I don't yes, know. sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children uh, down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're... Happy to have him out there. Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? 
Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burned down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Okay, so this is the Marshall. I really love this character. This guy's awesome. Let's head over to the saloon. <laughs> All those puffs of smoke he does, man. It's wow. Never recognized that in the PS3. I think that's new to this one. For? I don't know. Bunch of two bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents to prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure <gasps> it, they're carousing in there than out <laughs> robbing decent folks. That's an interesting <laughs> approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Here he is, Walton. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. All right. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. Alright, come on Lucas, get over here, stop it, just, come on, there we go, whoa, Marshall, you ready? Alright then, let's, whoa, crap. Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshall? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Shoulda Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walt's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. All right. Well, we're about to get into our first shootout here. I'm very nervous about it, considering this is hardcore. I don't think this is. It's definitely not going to be as easy as it is in normal, uh, I'll tell you that much, but that's what makes it entertaining and exciting, as it gives me a challenge. <laughs> Alright, all in your command, Marshal. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the, uh, the repeater here, and I'm going to, yep, yep, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Alright, whew, wow, okay. Uh, alright. Okay, got him. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> the way he pronounced that. Oh, goodness. Oh, there he goes, his gun. Hold on. Pulling out the uh, there we go, we got him. Got him. All right, let's reload here. Okay, all right, I'm doing good so far. Uh, let's go over here. Let's, let's get him from the side. Got him. All right, now. <laughs> I bet he's not. All right, now we're gonna aim for the leg here of Walton, and 
just like that. Boom, he's down. All right. Awesome. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. All right. So, Walton is down, and so is his gang. Uh, well, uh, that will be the end of part two here. We just got some money. Awesome. Uh, yeah, they'll be in the part two here. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, you know, I, I'm try I'm really trying my best here to make sure that I, uh, you know, bring you guys the best content I can. Same for Hydra. Um, again, if there's any echo in this video, I, w I do apologize for it, but aside from that, uh, I, I think this may have, might have gone well. After reviewing the previous footage that I've made for this, after, after like, re-recording over and over again, I think that it's safe to say everything is going to go just fine. But, um, aside from that, yeah, thank you for tuning in to part two here. And, uh, that's, uh, me signing off. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Goodbye. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.